wish I were a woman. Soft flowing curls, a white cotton dress, a garden in spring, and a swing. I wish I were a woman, a name on a melody, a sure footing, needles on my feet. I would beat the dark pavement on my way to wherever a woman goes during the day or the night. And I would fight. I would fight injustice. I would be strong. I would have a backbone and a voice and an opinion and a goal in life, something worthwhile. I wish I were a woman with fierce eyes, impeccable fire-making skills, a strong arm to slap kids with or carry them. I wish I were a woman with chocolate brown skin or milky white breasts with ugly feet hiding in beautiful, beautiful shoes. I would talk to strangers. I would bring my boyfriend flowers. I would have a girlfriend. Maybe I would. I wish I were a woman. A woman like a tall tree. A woman like a flowing river. A woman like a tiger. A woman like a deer. A woman like a ship. Like the captain on that ship. Like the sea around that ship. Like the storm that drowns the ship. Like a beach. I wish I were a woman. She's such an attention whore, changing every few months or so, declaring that she now finally found her true gender, calling everyone to cry about how her life had been a lie up till now, claiming it's just as hard for her as for transgender people before the change was made easier. She has no idea. I never really knew why I was attracted to women. Did I like the feminine personality traits or the physical appearance? I recently started dating a wonderful lady. I like her very much. I have no idea whether she was born female and frankly, I don't really care. What does it matter when you like someone? She is a woman now, I'm a man. I might not even ask her. On the other hand, it has become the kind of question people always ask eventually. Like, how many sexual partners you have had in the past? It doesn't really matter, but we still want to know. Dating has an evolutionary goal. And so do male and female bodies. I know people can still reproduce after the change, but I still think we're losing sight of what's really important. What if the human race dies out? People are so selfish. Our son was born a girl, so we changed him as soon as it was allowed. It is just safer that way, and men still have more chances in life. A lot of people think it's wrong that we are enforcing gender discrimination. Every parent wants the best for their kids. That's just the way it is. There is almost no sexual violence anymore. A lot less frustrated people around, I guess. It is great to walk on the streets at any time and feel relatively safe. A few years ago I used to become a man if I had to travel to unsafe places for my work as a reporter. Now, I hardly bother anymore. They say there used to be inequality between women and men. Can you believe that? I can hardly believe it. It seems so strange to think that the peace between your legs mattered that much to people. Of course, in those days, they were the one or the other. It seems even weirder. How did they manage? Procreation is most important. People seem to forget that sometimes. Everyone changing their sex around, forgetting why they're here on earth. Can't be good. Gender inequality has become meaningless. Still, I'm a bit ashamed by the role it plays in my own life. At first I became female for a while to just experience it. Sexually, but also socially. But it has become a bit of an addiction. Is it strange to say that I feel like I'm abusing the female body? I know it is still the body of my own. And I can do with it whatever I like. But it doesn't feel respectful at the same. I've always been told to be respectful to women and now I'm using their body type like a sex toy. Gender has gotten so extreme. What's the point of changing if the opposite's just the same? So many of the people who change play a part. They perform a caricature of their intended sex. The men are beer drinking, vulgar alpha males. 
women are giggling sluts with no taste in makeup by the way pick a side they say and to show you have you have to live the stereotype to the fullest the body is such an artificial construct now it is like the plastic surgery dilemma but then thousand fold we are living in a society where this kind of body alteration is the norm i have so much fun every morning it's like dressing up, putting on clothes or makeup. The first time I tried it I was like, what will the Christians say? Some people have such a terrible stick up their ass. Not literally, of course. But of course it's not okay to force people to try it. If they leave me be, I leave them be. I'm still so excited about it. I think everyone cool is now bisexual. It's totally rad. They used to have this thing called gender. It was related to the sex you were born with in the days when that was still very hard to change. It was something of a social construct, very interesting. Can you believe people used to base almost their whole personality, almost their whole identities on something so trivial? It would be like building your identity around the length of your hair. We need to construct laws, and fast. Things are changing rapidly. There have been lots of problems, violent reactions. Not only from the hate groups, but also from people who change themselves. Men have been sneaking into women's places, bathrooms, dressing rooms. It's almost impossible to find a criminal on the loose at the moment. People wanted by the law shouldn't be allowed to change. I don't know where I belong anymore. It's currently trendy to be female, so I stand out a lot when I go out. I estimate that 90% of the population is female now. It doesn't mean anything anymore. It's just a way to dress up. Some pop star will soon come along and change it. Just like that. Or the next summer look will be male again. Everyone is trying to get me to change. It's better in my line of work. I'll be more respected. I have better chances, they say. People even think I'm not dedicated enough for not making that choice. I know. But I just don't want to. I've made the decision. I'm going to change for the first time tomorrow. Purely for discovery. I want to find out what it is like as a female. To find out if my perceptions are correct or incorrect. Also, maybe I'll find out that I'm more comfortable as a female. The possibility is there. Not much has changed for me, really. I tried out what it was like, the other side, as they say, being female. It was interesting. I think dating has become more honest. It's a lot more about the personalities now. Although I must admit I'm still heterosexual as always. My last relationship failed because she wanted to be a man a lot of the time. And she didn't really understand why I didn't feel attracted to her when she was. There were other reasons as well, of course. I think we were just too different. I carried our first baby. My partner will carry the seconds. I'll change as well after conception to help with the breastfeeding if necessary. Well first she'll be delighted with having two mummies again, I think. It's just not a good idea to let people change their gender that easily or often. I know the technology is useful for some, but there should be limits. What if people use it without thinking it through? It will only cause confusion with the people around them. It can even cause problems with their self-image. I think we should protect people against themselves. We thought it would change everything. But now people just ask with what sex you were born. And base their opinions on that. I personally think it's offensive. But most people say they are just interested. And that there's no harm in asking. I am very insecure about it. You can't tell anyone's gender anymore by just looking at them. It's really confusing. Is that handsome guy someone I want, want to date? Or is he just a giggling girly girl thanging out a penis for a few days? I've gotten very unsociable, introverted. I prefer clear labels, boy or girl. I have enough of not knowing, of people changing all the time. My well, daughter really wants to try to change for the first time. But I think she's a little bit too young still. The doctor says it's safe, I know. To be honest, I'm not really looking forward to seeing her as a boy. 
I know I'm old fashioned, but I never felt the need to change myself. They totally let go of the psychological research. People just change now, when they want to. I think it's absurd. You still need psychological help if you're not comfortable in your own body. If only to help you truly change. And what if you're still depressed after? I know there are suicides because of that. People who thought they'd feel better, but didn't. And concluded that there was no other solution. It certainly put an end to a lot of nature nurture bickering. Some people say that is a good thing. It is almost impossible to find funding for it now though, which is unfortunate if it is your field of study. I try to get people to understand that it is not all solved now, that there is still a lot to understand, like why people change, and how often, and how they behave when they have. But there is not a lot of interest in the scientific approach of these things. I know that it's considered normal, but I just think it's rude. You don't show up on the second date with a completely different gender than you had on the first. That's just confusing. I have to change again tomorrow for weightlifting. Kick in some of those male hormones to get my strength to the right level. I just finished the female competitions, second place. Pretty good, but I think I'm better as a male. Still, it wouldn't be a shame to leave the female competitions. Why not do both? It won't be for long anyhow. They are making almost all sports gender neutral. Which of course means that people will just choose the sex with the best body type for each sport. So in practice, it w will not be neutral at all. But who cares? People just want to win. It was chaos at first, they say. Some really ugly things happened. Shootings. People died. There were lists available on the internet, things that would reveal whether someone had had a gender change. Most of them were bullshit of course, but that didn't stop the hate crimes or the discrimination. It's almost impossible to understand now, so many people were resisting violently. I am curious, I wonder how life is experienced differently from a woman's point of view. But I need integrity in my life. What if my female counterpart would think differently? I, I can have no knowledge of that. What if, as a woman, I would do things I now don't like? What if I didn't want to change back? Life is easier as a man in a man's world. That is the simple truth of it. I would never have changed if it weren't for my career. I like being a woman much better, but I'm ambitious. It is the thing to do. Some things are just better in one gender than the other. For example, most parties I like to attend as a female, wearing a lovely dress and high heels. But even though I'm sexually attracted to females, I don't like to have sex with a female as a female, so I have sex as a male. This sometimes causes the need for some rapid changing after the party, of course. It's a shitty process when you're drunk. But it has helped me and my husband a lot with my gender struggles. I think nobody needed this. Now, everyone is using it. I was born in the body of a boy, but it has been female now for, oh, so long. I hardly remember. But it was hard. It was before the change was made easy. All these people changing their sex today as if it were clothes. They know nothing about hormones, surgery, the like. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. It is wonderful that people like me have a much easier solution now. It used to cause so much personal suffering. I just wanted to try out another body. See how society would treat me. But even though I changed back, there are people who say I'm not pure anymore. People who do not want to date me. People who do not even want to talk to me. Of course I could pretend it never happened, but they are forever looking for signs. It's like hunting for real wolves. We had been really good friends for years. Best friends really. But when she changed, it was just different. I felt really attracted to her. She looked awesome as a guy, and I trusted her, 
knew her so well, she basically turned in my idea of the perfect boyfriend. I fell madly in love. But of course, it was just an experiment. She didn't feel the same about me. Still fancies guys. She changed back, because she really was a girl in the end. And I don't fancy girls either. After that, the friendship just deteriorated. A lot of people have discovered that they're actually more in between. When the change was difficult, people used clothes, behavior and other social signals sometimes. But it was not always accepted. Gender non-conformity it was called. Associated with a host of problems, abuse, social exclusion. But these people turned out to be less rare than we thought. Now they're hardly abused anymore. If anything, you're a bit suspect if you don't change your sex now and then. Too binary. People don't like that anymore. What does gender mean? Social property or identity construct? 49% A combination of a social or a biological property 30% Only a biological property 22% How would you describe your own gender? Female 44% Male 41% Gender neutral 8% Female transgender, 3%. Androgynous, 3%. Gender fluid, 3%. What would need to change to make you feel different about your gender? Sexual organs, 49%. Secondary sex characteristics, 49%. Way of thinking, 38% Voice 38% Dress style 38% Social behavior 33% Emotional behavior 23% Gender or sex I feel attracted to 8% Goals in life 5% I don't know 3% Impossible or no change would make a difference 13% How do you feel about people identifying as a gender that doesn't match their assigned sex? Positive or sympathetic? 58% Neutral 21% Interested 5% Negative or confused, 3%. Positive, but with reluctance, 13%. Given reasons for reluctance, 1. People shouldn't change too often. 2. Why not choose gender neutral? 3. As long as it's not only for attention. 4. It takes me a while to get used to. 5. It still freaks me out. If technology would become available, allowing you to change your gender easily and reversibly, would you ever use this technology? Yes, 67%. No, 26%. Not sure or maybe 8%. Would this technology be a good thing to have? Yes, 66%. Divided, 16%. No, 11%. Neutral, 5%. I don't know, 3%.